Chicago, your excitement for the Chicago Marathon for what, I believe maybe a third time? More than that, I think I'm about four, four or five now. So. All right, how does it feel? It feels great. You know, I love coming here. Um, this city really has a special place, uh, you know, in my heart, and it's, it's a race I look forward to every year. You know, there's a reason I keep coming back. What is that reason? Well, my dad grew up uh, here. He grew up in Maywood, so, uh, you know, I just have a lot of fond memories of coming here as a kid. And, and yeah, I mean, running on the lakefront trail, there's nothing better. It's like one of the most beautiful runs in the world. And uh, the energy here on, on race day and the running community here in Chicago is second to none. Talk to me a little bit about the course this weekend. What are you looking forward to the most and maybe the least, if anything? Yeah, well, definitely the finish line would be the, the thing I'm looking forward to the most. You know, that's a welcome sight when you make that turn coming up at that last hill. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I'm just looking to have a really solid race and excited to be back here competing. How big is this race, especially with it being one of the last few before the trials in February, especially for those who are really looking forward to Paris? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I think especially from the American side, you have, you know, a lot of the top men and a lot of the top women all chose to come here. Um, it's really good timing when it comes to the trials. Um, it's a fast course and, uh, you know, you're running against the world's best here. So it's definitely going to be a, a great tune up, you know, getting ready for next year when the Olympics come around. And you just walked off stage with some of the world's best not too long ago. How does that feel to sit next to a lot of these people where, you know, you all have to bring your A game this weekend? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels great. You know, this is the reason why we do it is to compete. And so, uh, you know, it's obviously great. You know, the field they have here is going to be tremendous and uh, it's going to be fun running against them on Sunday. You have a time you're going for? Uh, you know, not specifically. You know, it's it, for me, the marathon's always been about competing, you know, first and foremost. And so, uh, you know, I've got a plan, but just definitely want to want to execute and, and see, see how high I can finish. Maybe another silver or bronze in the future for the Chicago Marathon. We'll see, yeah. All right, anything else you'd like to add? I know they still want to talk to you a little bit more. I think I'm good, yeah, but thanks. <laughs> thank you so much, Gaylin. All right. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Gaylin. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. good. So it's the nature of the, like, health problems or the injuries that you've had that you, when you talked about getting healthy, what were you working on specifically? Well, I mean, I've had a lot of problems with my back, you know, the last last couple of years. So um, that's been the, the major thing, you know. And uh, you know, it's been it's been feeling really good, but uh, definitely a lot of things have changed, you know, with, with my my form and my mechanics. Um, and, and that's been the biggest thing that you know I've been addressing, and the reason why you know I got to clean that stuff up. But it, it takes a lot of time, you know, to undo a lot of changes. You know, I and mean, running is it's such a repetitive motion and when you're doing things you know, a little funky or, or off it it really starts to you know ingrain in there and so you know a lot of this past year has been trying to, to undo a lot of that it's you know taking a lot of a lot of body work and you know working with different you know people that specialize in biomechanics and um, you know weights everything so it's been a real comprehensive program but it's yeah, it takes time you know it's not something that just happens overnight do you think your mechanics were contributing to your injury issues? I think they probably were, uh, you know, the result of yeah, being being hurt. You know, it's can't can't move certain things. It uh, fundamentally changes the way that the rest of your body works. Are you back to the same volume that you were doing in training? So you're you're rebuilding back to where? Yeah, yeah. No, volume wise, yeah, everything has been been really. Uh, similar to, to the past, so uh, it's been, been good, you know, the last several months especially. Um, it's probably been the longest that I've trained consistently, you know, not having any races. The one, you know, positive about it is that I've had a lot of weeks of good volume, you know, going back months, so uh, it was a little bit, not frustrating, but obviously I would have liked to race, um, you know, leading up to this, but, you know, talking with Mike, I think he thought that it's more important to just get in a solid body of work, you know, and, and we really... Uh, after New York last year, kind of started from scratch again, and took took a lot of time to, to build that back up. The blocking Flagstaff, like how much time was it? And like, I guess whose idea was it? I mean, away from your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was there. Um, I can't remember when I got there. It was in, in August. I was there for a decent amount of time. Um, and uh, you know, I actually brought it up to Mike, like training over there, and, and he was stoked. Like he was really happy. You know, he said, oh, "I've been waiting for this text." And um, you know, I think that he had, he'd brought it up in the past, you know, going over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, I was at a point where I thought that, you know, it'd be great to, to be with him, you know, have him see me uh, every workout. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's hard sometimes when you're on your own and, you know, we communicate a lot, but, you know, having a coach see you and be able to adjust workouts, you know, 
whether that's doing extra or you know cutting back on certain ones you know that's that's huge so being over there and, and then obviously you know we've got the, the altitude piece of flagstaff um it's been great so for the person who watched your mechanics in new york last year obviously like there were things yeah, that were wrong terrible what i guess can you explain it to us with the common eye like what could we have seen there that was wrong and like this this weekend i guess is it great? Yeah, I mean, it, I still wouldn't say that it's like perfect, you know. But that's that's always the goal, you know. Always we strive for excellence in, in anything. But uh, it is significantly better, you know. Just you know, my hips where where they are, um, you know, my whole body was kind of twisted up in a, in a nutshell. And so just straightening that all out, you know, where my left foot um, and my left leg, you know, just how they interacted with the ground and, and my my right too, for that matter. You know, it's just. You can't just single out certain parts of your body. It has to be looked at kind of as a as one whole thing. So, you know, if my right leg's doing something weird, that inherently is going to affect how my left leg's working. And so, um, yeah, it's just a big, big process, you know. But uh, I think you'll be able to see a difference, you know, hopefully. I think, you know, I hate going back and looking at videos of myself running, you know, last year, two years ago, even in Eugene. And, uh, and I was in a lot of pain just, just walking around. You know, walking wasn't wasn't easy for me um, and uh, so yeah that's that's not there anymore so I'm thankful for that you yeah. know, every day how much pain if it, if any have you had in your training is that has there been anything you wanted to do that you haven't been able to do no, I feel good yeah from pace standpoint everything's been been really good yeah so has this been you think your best build-up since Chicago two years ago yeah yeah definitely um, you know even back then uh, you know, I was starting to deal with with some of this stuff but uh, yeah, I mean the last last couple of years have been rough. There's, there's no uh, no kind of beating around the bush with that. Um, it's been been really challenging, but uh, you know I think I'm starting to come out the other end, and that's the uh, that's the beauty, you know, of running. You know, and, and one of the things I remember Mike told me was, um, you know, in this sport, so much of it is just it's about getting better, you know, yourself, like getting better every day. Um, and I don't have to necessarily compare myself to, you know. 2019 or 2012 version of myself but as long as I'm better than a year or two ago you know that's that's really a lot of progress and that's the approach I took ever since I got back from uh, from the New York Marathon last year um, you know that was a real big wake-up call I was a little bit hard-headed you know keep trying to um, push through a lot of this stuff and say like I could do it but you know you can't just be surviving everything you know at some point that has to switch to, to thriving really you know and, and how good can things be and for for a long time I was really just surviving and, and getting through workouts and um, yeah you, you just can't can't do that as an elite athlete. You at these major marathons go out with the leaders obviously to put yourself in contention for the win there's this looming thing about the trials no spots being unlocked yet for the American men I mean, does that change your split? I think there's a good chance that changes after this weekend, um, you know, as part of the trials. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, first and foremost, you know, I've, I'm always prided myself on running smart. You know, a couple of years ago, I didn't go out with the leaders, you know, and um, you know, I caught back up to them. At, I think by halfway, I was back up and, uh, you know, ended up finishing second. So, uh, you know, I think that there's been plenty of races over the years where, uh, you know, the, my pride or wants me to say, yeah, I'm just going to go regardless. But, um, you know, there's a difference between being aggressive and just being stupid, I think. And so, uh, you know, being smart, running running a sound race um, and executing is, is first and foremost. And, you know, it's, the time that matters is the finish line, you know, not, not where you are 10K in or, or halfway. Are you thinking ahead to the trials at all and, like, the noon start time in Orlando? And do you have an opinion or are you just... Oh, I mean, certainly I'm thinking about the, the trials, you know, that's a that's a big one, you know, um, everything has been geared up for this, but uh, certainly in the back of my mind, you know, uh, after this, it's it's full steam ahead for next year, you know, it's going to be a, be a long year for sure, um, and it's, it's a lot of added pressure, you know, next year when, when the trials come around, um, but, but I'm looking forward to it, you know, uh, Noon start doesn't bother me. Like I, I'm not a morning person. That's the one thing I absolutely hate about road running in a marathon. Like I would much rather run at 11 or 12 than 7 in the morning. So uh, that doesn't bother me one bit, you know. And uh, there's plenty of time to to get ready for it, you know. Whether it's the heat, start time, um, you know, that stuff is something that we're all gonna have to deal with. And uh, so that's always been the been the approach that I'm taking. Yeah.
you race in New York in March, the New York City Half Marathon. What stage of your sort of recovery was that in? Like, are you a different runner than you were then? Yeah, yeah, that was that, that didn't go go very well at all. Obviously, um, and, you know, I think that you know, ironically, there was a. I was doing some things better there, but it was still pretty early on in, in that whole process with, uh, yeah, just getting better and, yeah, things are very different from, from us. <laughs> so Mo retired this year. Uh, I guess we had so many of, the, like, our former fellow competitors that kind of call it quits. I guess for you, 2024, how are you looking at that? Is it, like, the final year or, like, no? Nah, I mean... We'll see. You know, I guess you never know, but uh, but I certainly think that that I can keep doing this for a long time. And uh, you know, again, it, it all comes down to health, and you know, I think the way that I'm moving. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's still when I'm healthy and, and running well, like there's no doubt in my mind that I can keep doing this for you know several more years at least. Um, you know, I think ultimately uh, LA would be pretty sweet. You know, to be able to run there, just having the Olympics, you know, in your home country is would be unbelievable. So. Um, yeah, like my kids would be older, um, you know, I think they'd be able to experience that and, and certainly, you know, I think that that's where, uh, when it gets closer to that, I guess we can start talking about when I'll start calling it quits, but I don't have any, any plans of doing that, so. <laughs> uh, Alberto Salazar, uh, you saw it being expired last weekend, I'm wondering, would you ever consider either having him consult with you or working with him sometime down the road? Now that uh, you know, uh, I'm not really gonna get into that too much you know I, I could say that you know I, I am looking forward to just having like a, a personal relationship you know going forward with him um, but uh, I've got to figure out you know what what exactly the rules are um, and uh, you know it's things have been going good with Mike like he's, he's coming out here tomorrow and uh, yeah it's it's been a great build-up in Flagstaff so uh, yeah, I've had enough to worry about getting ready for this race and uh, yeah, I've just been focusing on my training, you know, up until this point on, on that. <laughs> do you do everything solo in fly stuff, or are you working? Uh, sometimes else? I run with some of his guys. You know, it just depends on you know when it works out timing wise, and uh, you know a lot of the track guys, you know, like Luis and them finish after pre. But uh, yeah, it was good to good to train with some other people when I was over there for sure. So like, uh, update or and, like who else did you? Who yeah, did you like Luis. Um, I run with some of the any of you guys just just going on easy runs sometimes. You, know, yeah. you just bump into a lot of people uh, yeah. in Flagstaff. Uh, uh, saw Saguru over there training, so uh, yeah, it was good. It's uh, you know, obviously it's Flagstaff's kind of the, the place to be for the running community. <laughs> As you get on the other side of 35 and closer, I mean, do you feel like that at all? Like your age now, it's all, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I really, I truly believe, especially with the marathon, you can keep doing this for you know, well into your 40s. Um, and, and again, a lot of it comes down to your health and, and uh, kind of how you're moving but uh you know I, I really feel good about about where i'm at and uh you know training and stuff and uh yeah it's just it was a rough couple of years this is the first time i've really you know been been hurt for a long time and you know unfortunately it came later i shouldn't say unfortunately it was great i wasn't hurt for so long but it did come later in my career and uh you know but it, like anything I, I don't think that it's going to be a limiting thing you, you've won two Olympic medals, you've won a major marathon. What still motivates you at this point in your career? It's just, it's always been about, you know, like excellence has been the one one thing. You know, getting the most out of myself, you know, getting the most out of it daily, getting the most out of myself on race day, you know, training as hard as I possibly can and, and being as disciplined as I possibly can, you know. Um, the cool thing about running is that it's, you know, it's more of a competition against yourself. You know, I run against other people for a living, but um, I think that that's something that, that we can all relate to. You know, it's something that I certainly still resonates with me. Um, it's just about seeing, you know, how far I can take my body, and uh, yeah, it's there's something really cool about. I just love movement, training, um, all that. So it's a uh, it's always been a passion of mine. You know, I, I love the journey of getting ready for for races, and uh, and that. That's still, that fire burns as hot as ever. <laughs>